Alexa, good morning. Good morning. For many a year that went past, there was an old man from Belfast who sang Hey Diddle Diddle and played on his fiddle when the day was St. Patrick's at last. Happy St. Patrick's Day. What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different. Have some fun and be yourself guys. But it is currently 8.57 and I am just starting the video. The reason why is because I was working from 4 to 8 and, um, and then I was watching the Penguins game before. And uh, this is what it looks like outside. Um, completely dark completely dark sorry i started the video late today i was like i said i was i got up my neck was killing me like i can turn that way perfectly fine but then it, it gets to there and it was like i couldn't even move it this morning but it's getting better but we're currently having a party and the penguins lost earlier today which is not good they lost 5-1 to the St. Louis Blues, although Pittsburgh is still third in the Metro with 87 points. Columbus is currently playing right now. They're losing to Boston, which is good. But the Leafs are losing again, yet again, to uh, the Ottawa Senators. I, I, I don't know if the, the, they, booed, they got booed yet, but who knows? Who knows what can happen? Yeah, so I'm about to go downstairs and just have some food. It is currently now 11.38, so it's like almost 20 minutes to midnight, and uh... I'm about to go to sleep, but I'm going to record tomorrow because this vlog isn't done. And I feel bad for not recording today, so I'm going to continue recording tomorrow into the morning. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. It's now the next morning, and, um... We celebrated St. Patrick's Day with a party yesterday on Saturday because St. Patrick's Day is on a Sunday in which now I'm recording it is now 11.41 and I have to get this video up by 3 but um, I decided why not just make a video about crazy facts about St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> We should really wear blue. St. Patrick himself would have to deal with pin with pinching on his feast day. His color was St. Patrick's blue, a light shade, the color green only became associated with the big day after it was linked to the Irish independence movement in the late 18th century. Wow, I... I hmm. I never knew this. The whole setup here is, I guess, wrong. I guess you, and this is wrong, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of weird and crazy. Um, second one. St. Patrick was British, although he made his mark by introducing Christianity to Ireland in the year 1432. Patrick was an Irish himself. He was born to Roman parents in Scotland or Wales in the late 14th century. Oh, in the late 4th, sorry, 4th century. Uh, number 3. The Irish take St. Patrick's Day seriously. As you might expect, St. Patrick's Day is a huge deal in his old stomping grounds. It is a national holiday in both Ireland and Northern Ireland. Hmm. Alright then. So do New Yorkers. Yeah, that's true. I want uh, that New Yorkers take it serious. They have the St. Patrick's Day Parade, 
when I went to New York, um, and you can see in my uh, New York trip story that we went on a St. Patrick's Day parade, and it was it was really really fun. Uh, so, New York City St. Patrick's Day is one of the world's largest parades since 1762. 250,000 marchers have tra trapezed up 5th Avenue on on foot. Uh, the parade still doesn't allow floats, cars, or other modern trappings. Wow. Chicago feels lucky too. New York may have more manpower, but Chicago has a spectacular spectacular a spectacle oh uh, a spectacle all its own the city has been celebrating St. Patrick by dumping green dye in the Chicago River since 1962 it takes 40 tons of green dye to get the river to a suit suitable uh, suitability festival shade that's kind of crazy that's kind of cool though the the river is green I know last night we dyed all their drinks green, which is which is really fun. And we had these uh, green mugs, and uh, that's I don't know that's dyeing stuff green is pretty fun. But the more you know, it's supposed to be blue. Um, but number six, it used to be a dry holiday for most of the 20th century. St. Patrick's Day was considered a strictly religious holiday in Ireland which meant that the, nation, the nation's pubs were closed for business on March 17th. The one exception went to beer vendors at the big national dog show, which was always held on St. Patrick's Day. In 1970, the day was converted to a national holiday, and the stout resumed flowing. Um, yeah, so like everybody has like beer and drinks and everything now, and you dye everything green, which is so much fun. And it's just a really fun experience. But that's kind of... I didn't know that it was a dry holiday. Number seven. It's the thought that counts. Not every city goes all out in its celebratory efforts. From 1999 to 2007, the Irish village of Dripsy proudly touted that it's hosted the shortest St. Patrick's Day parade in the world. The route ran for 26 yards between two pubs. Today, Hot Springs, Arkansas claimed the title for brevity. Brevity, its brief parade runs for 98 feet. There you go. I. That's an interesting one that I never knew. All right, number eight. Here you go. There's a reason for the shamrock. So there's a reason for these things. Um. There you go. Uh, here, hold on. There's a reason for the shamrocks. How did the shamrock become associated with St. Patrick? According to the Irish legend, the saint used a three-leaf plant as a metaphor for the Holy Trinity when he was introducing Christianity to the Ir to Ireland. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. I, I don't know. I thought they were just always there, and they were always a thing because there's on they're on these cups. They're on this thing here. They're everywhere. I believe they're on my hat. Um, number nine. Cold weather helps St. Patrick's legend. In Irish lore, St. Patrick's gets credit for driving all of the snakes out of Ireland. Modern scientists suggest that the job might have not been too hard according to the fossil record. Ireland has never been home to any snakes. Through the Ice Age, Ireland was too cold to host any reptiles, and the surrounding seas have staved off serp serp serpentine invaders um, ever since. Modern scholars think that think the snakes St. Patrick's drove away were likely metaphorical. I I never knew that. I never I don't know. Uh, I never knew that, but there you go. Number 10, there is no corn in that in the beef. Corned beef and cabbage is traditional St. Patrick's Day staple. Doesn't have anything to do with the grain corn. Instead, 
It's a nod to the large grains of salt that were historically used to cure meats, which were also known as corns. Huh. That's one. Oh, there you go. These are kind of interesting. I, I never, I never knew any of these. <laughs> you might, maybe, maybe you guys didn't either. So I'm uh, here to educate you. Number eleven. The world runs a quite a bar tab. All the St. Patrick's Day revel revelry around the globe is great news for brewers. A 2012 estimate pegged the total amount spent on beer for St. Patrick's Day celebrates uh, at 245 million and that's before tips to pubs bartenders. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of money spent. Um, number 12. It could have been St. May Wednesday. According to the Irish legend, St. Patrick was, orig was originally called, wasn't originally called Patrick. His birth name was Maywin. Suck it. Maywin suck, suck it. Suck hat. Suck it. But has changed his name to Patricus after becoming a priest. Oh, he could have been Saint Ma That's kind of cool. Hmm. There you go. There's another cool fact. Um. Number thirteen. There are no female leprechauns. Don't be fooled by any holiday decorations showing lady leprechauns. In traditional Irish folk tales, there are no female leprechauns. Only nati native. Natalie attired little guys. Huh. They, I, hmm, ha. <laughs> I didn't know that one either, but, you know, the more you know. Uh, number 14. But the leprechaun economy is thriving. Another little known fact from Irish lore. Leprechauns earned that gold their garden, according to the legend. Leprechauns spent their days making and mending shoes. It's hard work, so you can't blame them for being territorial about their pots of gold. <laughs> there you go, there's uh, another one. Now the last fact. Number 15. The lingo makes sense. You can't attend the St. Patrick's Day without hearing even a cry of Aaron go brag. What's the phrase mean? It's a corruption of the, of the Irish Aaron go brag. Aaron... Yeah, Aaron go brag, which means roughly Ireland forever. Whoa, there you go. Now that's it for the for the interesting uh, facts about St. Patrick's Day. <laughs>of today's video so i would basically like to thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you guys enjoyed and if you like to watch another video guys be subscribed to my youtube channel turn on my post notifications and smash that like one smash see so peace out i will see you guys in tomorrow's video